So I have a really fun project that I'd like to share with you today that I'm actually doing in one of my classrooms. And I think it's really cool and could be valuable to some of you out there. So I wanna go through the steps that we're doing and you can take this concept and turn it into your own project with another topic. I'm doing weather reports with students, but it doesn't have to be weather reports. It could be any kind of report or presentation or sharing out or even about me project or goal setting project. Students had to choose a location and had to do some research. What is the weather like in their chosen city and country of choice? And once they did that, they had to write a script, a simple script. So this will depend on your grade level, how complicated you want to make it. But this is very much something that elementary students could do. Write a script, you know, what you would say to the camera about the weather in your location. And then students just record themselves on their Chromebook camera, talking to the webcam right there on their device. Here's a sample script that teacher I'm working with, this is actually the script she did, and we added some things to it. So if you need to give your students a template, you could use something like this, like a hello, this is blank, I am reporting from blank, it is blank here, the temperature is blank and blank. Now you could add other things to it too, like some personal anecdotes, if the weather's nice or not, or what people may or may not know about the location, like, hey, this is unseasonably warm or cooler. Make sure you bring your umbrella with you and that sort of thing. So they could embellish it with some color and have fun with it. And then students just record on their camera using their Chromebook or photo booth or whatever the, the thing is on your device. And then they'll go to Adobe Express. And this is where I'm gonna take you to my Adobe Express tutorial that I actually made for the students I was working with. We're now in Adobe Express. What you're going to want to do is click this blue plus in the corner and just click landscape to start a brand new blank project. When I click it, this just opens up for me automatically. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna search for a background for my weather report. So it might be a picture of the weather, it might be a map, or maybe you have a picture saved that you want to use. But I'm gonna go to elements and I'm gonna type in what I'm looking for. So I did a winter scene, so I might type in winter. And when I hit enter, I get pictures, but I need backgrounds. So up here at the top, you can change things around. I'm gonna click on backgrounds because I want background images. So now I can scroll through and try to find a picture that's good that I think I want to use. If I don't like it, I can search for something else, but there are lots of things to choose. How about this one? Let's see. Okay, so that's my background picture. Now I can take my video that I saved and I can put my video in front. So I'm going to go to media. Media is like another word for videos and content, and I'm going to upload from device. Now, I already saved my video on my desktop, so you're gonna find your video. It's probably in downloads or under camera, and then click open. So my video loaded, but I need to wait for it to finish loading all the way, because right now my remove background tool is grayed out. So you do need to wait for it to fully load, but this will appear as an option. So see how that just popped up now? I'm also gonna make my picture bigger by clicking on the dots in the corner. And now I can click background. And again, you might have to wait a moment for this to work. So depending on how long your video is, it might take longer to process, so be patient. But once my video is here, I can still change the size of it if I want, and I can move it to where I want to move it. So if I wanna be in the middle, I can be in the middle. If I wanna move off to the side because I wanna put some pictures here, I could do that. So now you have the option to add other things to your video, and you can also preview and watch your video by clicking on So to add other things, I'm gonna to go to elements. This is where I found my background. See that? And then I can go to design assets is what this is called. And I could type in snowflake if I wanted to find a snowflake. And there's lots of options here. 
So maybe I want to pick these blue ones that you can see a little bit better. So you might have to try add different things and see what works and what doesn't. I can delete this by selecting it and hitting delete or backspace on my keyboard and moving stuff around. And when I'm selected on an item, I can now do things like scroll down and go to animation. And animation is what lets these little objects move while my video is playing. So you have three options. You have an animation for when your vi when your item first appears. You have an what action you want it to do during your video, and then what action you want it to do at the end of the video. So you could start by just hitting looping, hitting the middle one, and you could have it do things like wiggle instead of wiggle. Let's do spin. And what happens is while you preview your video, your objects will move as well. So you can do the same thing with text or words. And you can click, I went to text and add your text button. And you can type in whatever you want it to say. And I could change the font. If I want it to say winter in big bold letters. If I want to change the color, I can go to custom and I can go down to animation. Maybe let's do, I like Bob. It kind of goes, ooh. so there's that one. And I can move, I can move those around as well. I can even layer them over on top. Once you are all ready and you have all your pieces and they're all animated and it looks good, the way to finish your video is to click on download. It should be MP4 already and click download. And your video will save and you can turn it into Google Classroom.